in my apartment for the first two years. It was a, a scary time, but also a very exciting time. And I was finding my passion as when, and I was realizing that I had never dreamed of being a designer my whole life. I never thought it was an option or possible. A team is crucial. It was very bare bones. And that was uh, until two years later, we had about 14 people working out of my apartment. We're definitely proud to be an American brand, but I, I think it's really about women uh, globally that inspire us. First of all, you have to have a unique point of view and, and, and meet a need. One thing my parents said is that you have to thicken your skin. You've just said your business finances itself, and it's been a very successful business. There must be the temptation, or at least the conversation at some point about taking this incredible business that you've built public. I, I can promise you I've never had that conversation, and it's not something I'm interested in anytime soon. You have to really make priorities, and my boys are my priority 100%, and my team knows that. And every morning I take them to school, and I'm home by 6.30 at most evenings. And I think that regardless of what's happening in the office, you have to really make those boundaries and, and set them. And, and, and when you're home with them, you have to be a mom. And that's sort of, I would never be able to be a good CEO or designer if I wasn't a great mom. What would you like to achieve next with your business? I would like to have real impact and scale with the foundation. And, and in fact, I think that we are on the cusp with something that could be really interesting for women and in business. Sometimes women are their own challenge uh, in believing in themselves. And that's something that we talk a lot about with our entrepreneurs is really having um, the belief in yourself that you can accomplish this. And a lot of people in business, particularly women, are talking about no need to apologize for being ambitious. <laughs>